and welcome to another edition of Backpage. Tonight we'll be covering the recent games in Euro 2012. Here I have beside me the most positive man in football, Simon Sayers. Why? And a new man, England's Ian Dobson. So lads, will you talk me through the England-France game? Yeah, well, we're really excited game, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I think this is England's best year to win, yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 I think England, no, you know, no. looking really strong this year. I uh, really love uh, what they're doing. I think, to be honest, this is probably England's best chance of winning a major Not tournament. Not that, I hope. Since 66, mate. Not that, I hope. Well, I think so. And I think they've got great players. I mean, you saw that j- goal from uh, Jolly Lescott. Uh, what a great player. Not just for Man City, but for England. And he's actually a great guy as well. We played together down in uh, Twatford Lane. We both played for Danglebury Rovers, 85-86. You know, great young lad at the time. Even though it's such a, a, a young lad, he, he had a great head on his shoulders even back then. You knew him back then? Big time. Did you fuck? Ian, England's an aging squad. What about the youth yeah, setup? you know, and, and one thing that impressed me today was uh, Alex Oxlund chamberlain great young player, you know. And he got a yellow card, but he showed commitment. And that's the same commitment, actually, from uh, his, his great-grandfather, who I knew uh, very well, Neville Oxlund chamberlain You know, uh, he was Prime Minister. OK, lads. Nasri's goal. Great play between Ribery and uh, Nasri. Great, great uh, play, great one-two, lovely ball in, uh, right. Nasri, I think, you know, he's a great player, uh, you know, he's, he's really, actually, a really nice guy, and I'll tell you why, because I played with him in Japan uh, for a year, and, uh, you know, he's a really nice guy to have in the dressing room, I didn't understand the word he fucking said, mind you, but, you know, really nice, kind of, looking guy as well. What, what, what team was that in Japan? It was Grandpa 7, before Grandpa 8. Oh, all right. Just, right, just before right. Grandpa Saint. Okay. And briefly, lads, what about the Ukraine-Sweden game? Well, you know, it was great to see a uh, play from uh, uh, the old master, um, um, Andriy Shevchenko. Yeah. Uh, you, know, he, you know, he didn't do very well with Chelsea. You know, that was clear. Um, but, you know, he's come in at 35. You know, he scored two goals for his country in his home, his home right. ground. Right. Uh, right. You know, and and a great guy. Actually, uh, funny story. Um, I played with him uh, back in uh, '89, and um, when we were both at Juventus youths, and uh, you know, see him coming out of the shower is something else. Okay, lads, thanks, and join us after the break for the analysis of the Poland Russia game. Looking to be turning about. Well, don't gamble with all the other tour companies. Gary Gamble's tours is a safe bet. We'll take you to places like Woodfield Sweet Factory, Unify, Santa's Christmas College, Donegal Creamery, St. Carl's Mental Hospital, Dogs, Skip Lally. Model Bakery! Um, some town, sir. Gary Gamble, great guy. Oh, uh, yeah, wallpaper uh, the dressing rooms in uh, oh, oh, Tinley. Oh, uh, welcome back! And uh, now we're going to do the Poland Russia game. I have to say, hate to see the the argy bargy before the game oh, with the, aye, aye. the Polish fans and the Russian fans, and you know, I hate to say that in the game we were we were associated with that kind of uh, thing the, in, back in the eighties. The English, yeah, yeah, you know, I did a bit myself, kicked a few wogs. Whoa, you can't say that. No, 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 no. W O G, wolves organised gangsters. Terrible, terrible oh. crowd, of bastards. Most of them are black as well. And the game itself? Well, I thought it was, uh, you know, it was a game of two halves, really. Uh, first half, and then the second half. You know, and, and, and clearly, uh, you know, Russia took the lead. And then, uh, in the second half, Poland equalised. Game of two halves. OK, Ian. Uh, thanks for your insightful analysis. Um, 
Was there any talking points at all? Oh, clearly there was a big talking point in the second half, and that for me was the penalty that never was. I mean, right, it was right, Stonewall right, penalty, right. and not only did the referee not see it, the linesman didn't see it, neither did the fifth official didn't right. see it. Now, what's he there for if he can't see these clear cut decisions? Right, now, right. and it begs the question for me is the fifth official sufficient? Do we need more officials? Do we need a sixth official? Well, if you're going to go six, why not seven, eight, nine, eight, maybe? Eight, nine, ten. And, you know, who to say we shouldn't have an official no, standing around? No, and... boys. No, one's enough. One decent one to do the job. OK, lads, uh, it's it's competition time now. Name three teams that Ian Dobson has played for. And find us on Facebook for more information on what you can win. OK, lads, we're nearly finished up now, but we've had one week of uh, football... Who's been the best player so far in the tournament? Well, you know, I think there's been a lot of great players in these opening games. Uh, but for me, I have to say, you know, the best player of the tournament so far has to be Glenn Whelan of Ireland. I mean, I think he is very skilled at moving across the pitch from side to side. In fact, when I played with Glenn uh, back in there uh, for uh, Bray United, back in 78, 79, uh, we used to call him the crab. Because he used to go across the pitch... Sideways, like that, and then that, with the legs moving, in like that. And Simon, you're a player of the terms? Ah, uh, Lewandowski, clearly. Okay, okay. thanks. Um, well, that's it. Thanks for tuning in to Backpage. See you all again shortly. Who the fuck's this chap?